Welcome back to week two of the big build. Um, hopefully you enjoyed last week's vlog. Um, hopefully I changed a few people's minds on whether transplant patients are employable and whether uh, we can do our jobs. That's what this week's about. Um, so week two, I spoke last week about Epcot. Um, what I'm concentrating on this week is building a uh, my little bit of Epcot, which I'm bringing to me, it's going to be sort of Chinese themed. Um, and that bit is going to be done in part four of the vlog, uh, which is going to be something I think an unboxing like no other unboxing. It's going to be done uh, in real time, but I can't say too much about that one. However, hope you in like today's vlog. If you weren't sure about me by the end of last week's, uh, then hopefully this week will change your mind because there's a lot more hard work coming and um, I'll see you at the end of this vlog. Okay. Hi guys, uh, welcome back to part two of the big build. Um, so I guess by now you figured out what I'm doing. I'm building myself an office for my challenge um, and I've been really busy. So can you guys remember what all this looked like before, before I started it? Let's have a look. You'll see a difference now. Looks a bit different, so I'll, I'll edit in a shot now so you can see what it was like before. All brand new fence panels. Um, I've raised it up. Uh, so I wanted to go for like an infinity pool look, which is what it starts out like that. And I've obviously got more to do, but that's what it'll, that's what it'll start out like if I can jump over my tools there. There we go. And you can remember what this was looked like before, before I did all this. I'll let it in another pitch now so you can see what it all looked like before. Um, yeah, I've put trellis up at the back there and I'll zoom in on that. That is what my daughter made for the birds. Yeah, she wanted to feed the birds. So she made a little, um, she made a little nest for the birds up there. and. It all looks a bit different, so I'm just in the process of putting new fence pan, uh, new gate uh, gate brackets on there because they've all rusted out. Don't know whether you can see that there. They've all rusted out, and the door doesn't open, and I need to get behind there. So one of my jobs today is to swap out those with brand new ones. I've already done one this morning. There we go, and you can see that's the old one up there. Um, another one of my jobs to do, and I'm going to do a time lapse of this, so you'll get to see what's going to happen next. It's all going to look a lot different.
back. <laughs> Hair's getting longer. So I've just made a frame up and you're probably thinking to yourself, what's he made a big frame up for? So you just saw me do that in a quick time lapse. Um, yeah, it's a big old frame, isn't it? So I'm fed up of walking down here and I've got bricks all over the floor and concrete and bricks and rubbish. I'll take you over here, show you. Um, yep. So I'm fed up of seeing that. So in a moment, you're going to get to see me um, change it. Okay, here goes. Welcome back to the big build. Um, yeah, hard work. Uh, yeah, really hard work. <laughs> so I'm going to show you what I've been doing today. Uh, the end of the results, you've obviously seen the time lapses by now. So I'm just going to edit in a picture of what it looked like before now. And now you can see what it looks like after. There we go. What a difference. All right, welcome back to the big build. Um, yeah, today. Um, so I've decided today that I don't like the look of the stairs going down and it's not very kid friendly. And you're thinking, it's not much Disney in this vlog at the moment. What you don't realize is there's going to be hidden Mickeys everywhere. And the trick to me putting the, the, the hidden Mickeys down is they're going to be different shades of grey on top of grey. Some of them you're only going to be able to see at night. I know, it's crazy, right? Um, but there's going to be tons and tons of hidden Mickeys. So today, what I'm doing is I'm fed up of seeing this. Here. Because it doesn't look very nice to walk down. So I'm sorting that out today. And also, as I come around here, you'll see now that... Obviously, I've done this, but I don't like this. This doesn't look nice. Um, and this is where one of the hidden Mickeys is going to be that you're only going to get to see at night. So I want to sort this out. Um, I know it's sort of like a Japanese tree. So you're going to get a theme of how it's going to be out here. But like I said, if I can't get to Epcot this year, to my favourite pavilion, Japan, then I'm going to bring it to me. Um, so this is probably what you haven't seen before. This is the... Uh, my infinity pools. Um, I've done a quick trim. I've trimmed down all my trees. So there's nothing overhanging the top of me. Whereas before they were overhanging the top. And when I actually come out of my project. There's going to be something here. So as I'm looking out over my Japanese garden. And trying to find hidden Mickeys. You'll be... Uh, there'll be more. So let's see how this looks after I've done it. So, that's another job finished. Um, so, I put some trellis up behind me, just to hide that wall, but don't worry, over in the far left hand corner, that's gonna be a little tree going in there, so you won't see the corner pieces. Um, I've got little Chinese lanterns up. Um, they all light up at night. I checked it out last night, looks really, really nice. Um, you can see the stairs look totally different now. If you remember what they looked like before, I'll slip, uh, um, put a little picture now. And um, I've also put some little Chinese lanterns in there. Check them out last night. They look really, really, really good, actually. They light up quite nice. Obviously, a little one there on the corner, which I put up yesterday. Um, I've also uh, put what's called trellis, so you'll get to see this here, this stuff here. So because obviously 
the, the decking's raised up. We just wanted to be a bit more private when we come out. So I've put some trellis up all the way along there. Uh, a massive tree above my garden which I've trimmed anything that overhangs my side. Uh, so that looks a lot better. And that's it. Oh, oh, I've got some amazing jam jars as well. I don't know whether you can see these jam jars, but if you... You can't really see it. If I take my hand on and off, they light up at night. So if I cover it over, and I'm, I brought the jam jars separate to the lights, and they're fully waterproof. And I really like them. They're really, really good. There we go. I don't know whether you saw that on the camera. Um, so let me turn that around back on me. So, yeah. Um, one thing I didn't realise over the last couple of months, well, over the last month, was I was on new anti-rejection drugs. And the same ones, but they were what's known as a generic brand, which means they weren't my actual drugs, they were replicas of my drugs. And, whoops, sorry, that's my fence again. Um, they were replicas of my drugs. Um, and uh, they've been making me feel really poorly. And I couldn't figure out why over the last couple of weeks doing all this work, well, I, was, I just thought, am I overdoing it? Am I getting run down? Um, and then I realised it was the drugs they'd given me. Because they were a brand name, the official name, they were copies of the official name, they were having lots of side effects and I was getting more and more run down. Um, so yesterday the right drugs turned up, which I started taking again, and now I'm back to normal with lots of energy. So, um, yeah, so for the last four weeks doing this vlog, I didn't realise I was getting more run down because I was on replica drugs, which they all they had in stock, so they gave me those. Um, but now I'm back on the proper drugs and I'm feeling okay. After 24 hours, I'm actually feeling really good again. Um, so I'm going to go back to the bedroom scene and say my goodbyes till next week. Okay, hope you like what I've done so far, guys. So I hope you liked part two of the big build. Um, you can sort of see where it's going now, can't you? And what my ideas are. Um, that was such hard work. This done in the middle of a heat wave in England and um, it was so hard. So now you guys, I'm hoping are understanding why I haven't been, um, why it's taken me a while to watch your vlogs. I've been doing this work in the day, watching your vlogs in the evening and commenting and liking and watching. Um, so that's why I, it's been taking me a while to do it. Um, like I said, uh, if you're in any doubt about transplant patients or what we can do, tune in next week. It just gets better and better and the work gets more and more. By the time this vlog's finished, I think four, maybe four tons of movement just with one person on his own in a house. Um, hope you liked it. I'll see you guys uh, next week. Thanks for watching this week. Uh, really would be appreciative if you uh, subscribe to my channel um, it, to inspire other people and show others what can be done um, and i shall see you next week okay take care guys I need my soul to scream out.